When my father died, he left me this land. For five years, I've been harvesting and taking care of it. The role of the Olive and Oil Council is to harmonize between the producer and the consumer, and then for specifications and standards of the oil, and to work hard to make sure there is always a product that is acceptable and matches the required specifications. The olive sector is the largest agriculture sector in Palestine. More than 85% of the planted trees are olive trees. 100,000 families live off them. That means nearly half a million people benefit directly or indirectly from the olive sector. It is the largest agriculture sector and most important in Palestine. During this uh, program, for the first time, we, we brought the small-scale farmers, their cooperatives, and the private sector together, and they sat and talk and discuss and argue, and at the end of the meeting, they set a fair price, fair for both sides, for the producers and the, uh, the private sector as well. Uh, they are happy uh, about the, the program, and they are looking forward to see, uh, I mean, this, the program going forward. This program, really has managed in, in creating a new uh, philosophy and strategy of dealing with the agriculture sector. Uh, that take into consideration uh, uh, working in a multi-stakeholder environment and, and engaging all actors in decision making and policy and strategy development. And I guess from groove to market has succeeded uh, to great extent in terms of of establishing the right mechanisms for that. My wish for the future, the same way my father left us the grove and land as wealth for us, is to leave land to my sons and daughters, the same way my father did for us.